Just uh, I thought Tom pitched really well, and uh, you know they 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 got him with a with a couple outs. You know the, the top of their order is as good as any in the country with Morgan Cruz and Barry, and you know even the cleanup hitter. He's he's got big numbers as well. But you know Connor, it didn't happen so quick. We did really didn't have a chance to get anybody loose, and. Uh, you know, hindsight's twenty twenty. Maybe we needed lefty uh, hot there for for a hitter, but uh, you know, good job by our guys fighting back and putting the bat on the ball with two strikes and making him feel the ball. And uh, you know, it looked like early we had a chance to put him away. Bases loaded, two outs, and Robert lines out to second. You know, you're thinking at the time the way Connor's going, boy, if we get a hit right there, we double this lead to four, four nothing. You know, we're in pretty good shape and. Sure enough, you just kind of knew in our dugout that, that they were going to make a run, and, uh, and that's exactly what they did. But uh, it's a good win for our team, and, you know, a big-time effort by, I thought, Evan Taylor and Brady Tiger to come in and, and give us some quality innings there at the end. Thank you, Dave. I just wanted to say first about Maury's stuff. Well, I guess you guys had had three three runs there with two outs and two hits, but especially Morris hit, and then the double the double play to get out of the bases loaded jam. Yeah, you know Morris Morris balls hit so hard it hooked, and uh, it kind of fooled the second baseman. It was looked like it, here we go again. He's going to square one up, and it's going right at somebody, and it it hit the ground and took off to the right. I say and uh, got by him and. I mean, that was a huge swing for us. Uh, you know, the play before, uh, you know, I think Webb was behind the count, one, two, 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 and I don't know, he fouled a pitch off, and then he uh, he got a slider away, and he, he got he hit, it, he hit it past the pitcher, and, you know, it was definitely going to be an infield hit, um, and Wallace just kept running, and, uh, you know, the outfield, or the, the shortstop threw the ball, obviously, that was a little offline, and we tied it up. So those were – those were big swings for us in, in a game that we felt like we were in control and then we weren't. And, uh, and then to get that double play ball, uh, I mean, that was huge. It was a breaking ball that hit off the end of the bat and we had Robert up the middle and obviously he filled it and knew exactly what to do or under the bag, flipped first. And we got into the, to the bottom of the eighth with uh, a one run lead. Wallace swearing from second on the infield hit. Did you like him putting pressure on the defense there? Yeah, I did. It just because hits were hard to come by, and you know their their bullpen's been really good lately. And uh, you know they they kept bringing them in left and right, and velo guys. And sometimes you just have to take a chance, especially ground ball. Ball's probably a little wet by the time he gets it, and uh, you know it worked out. With more. Uh, he hit into the shift earlier in the game, had a good at bat there. Have you liked what you've seen from him lately? And I mean, you feel like maybe tonight was a good indication that he's. Yeah, out of it. I think his confidence should have should have jumped up a little bit tonight. You know, he's been fighting it a little bit. We're working extremely hard, coming in early, staying late, one on one with you know Coach Thompson um, a lot. He's uh, you know he's fighting it. So for him to. It hit two balls on the nose his last two at bats is I mean we we definitely need that obviously we need we need our lineup to be to, to be deeper great defensive plays tonight the one uh, in right field early and then the double play I wonder if you could speak to how big those were especially yeah I mean the first play was you know at the time it, I think it was their leadoff man and uh it looked like they were going to have a runner on first and no outs we were up two to nothing at the time and he fielded and spun made a perfect throw um outstanding play killed a little bit of momentum there and then we had a we got him out and got in the dugout and then the you know the base is loaded <coughs> excuse me and you know they hit they hit a couple bloopers uh i mean cruz did a great job of staying staying through that ball and, and hit it over second baseman's head then you know we're ahead of barry a couple of strikes and such a tough hitter uh he just he fought one off and you know, he's got big power. Uh, we're playing really deep and right. And uh, I don't know if the right fielder could get there. Roberts playing kind of double play depth. And it was just a really tough play. And it drops in. So for us to, 
you know, to give up a run, they get within one, bases loaded, one out. Uh, for us to turn a double play there, obviously, it was exactly what we wanted. You know, we we kind of pitched around the hitter before the the double play ball, so um, it just worked out for us. You know, it was a it was it was a it was a very interesting baseball game, a little stressful, but uh, like I said earlier, big win for our team. Some did his ankles that way he came out, or what? what happened? No, because the pitcher that come in came in the game is a left lefty specialist. That's why we had two back to back. I really didn't want to hit him back to back, but somewhere in the order, I was going to have to have a couple lefties back to back. And that's where I put them. And they brought him in and lefties aren't hitting very good against them. And those guys aren't hitting very good against lefties. And, uh, you know, it's uh, Bernardo has been swinging the bat good and he's actually hit lefties well and uh, just took a shot there. What did you think of the way Tiger closed the game for you? That's a big spot for a freshman. Yeah, I mean, he's uh, – we just talked about it, coaches there just a minute ago, that he doesn't get rattled. Um, you know, he uh, he wants the ball, and he doesn't want to come out of the game, and he doesn't care if bases are loaded two out. That's just his, his makeup. And, you know, he was frustrated about what happened at Florida. I mean, he he worked hard this week, and, you know, he was, he was looking for a shot to close out a game like this and just really proud of him. On, on Moore, I think it was after one of the games against Kentucky, he had been struggling, and, and I asked him about, uh, you know, his play that night, and he said something along the lines of, you know, SEC comes, players come to play, and it seems like he's had a lot of those types of moments throughout his career. I just wonder what you think about, about the way that he seems to play well for you guys in big games. Well, he just, first off, he he loves to play, and I think his his whole makeup is he's just full of confidence. You know, he thinks he can play, he can play, and uh, he wants he wants that at bat when the game's on the line or the ball hit to him when the game's on the line. It's just it's just kind of his, his DNA, his makeup, you know. I mean, that's what he's all about. He's, you know, he wants to be in the middle of the action, and you got to love that as a coach. What's the confidence that you get from a game like this where you both pitch your number one, you both go to your closers late in the game, you get the big hits to win the game and they can't, you know, scratch out another run. And just kind of what confidence does it give you whenever they go to their guy and you still come out on top? Well, man, you never know how it's going to go. Um, just like I told the team, you know, we haven't won this series yet. It's a great win. I know it's Thursday night, but I said that that's what you get on Friday nights in the SEC. It's usually going to be tight. and You know, somebody's going to get a big hit or somebody's going to make a mistake and that's going to be the difference in the game. And, uh, you know, I mean, winning a game like that when uh, it's hard to lose a game like that. If you use a lot of your guys, you know, your pitchers, your bullpen, and you still, you worry about it a little bit, but uh, you know, I mean, we still got a lot of work to do, but it, it's definitely a, a confidence builder for our team. Also, just what was the conversation like after the catcher's interference with the umpire? Kind of what was the yeah. explanation you got? And just kind of what did you see on that play? Well, I'm going to watch it again. We're going to we're going to figure out what we saw. And, uh, I mean, he's a – Morgan's a tough hitter. He's a tough out. And uh, I think his mindset was I'm, I'm not going down looking. And uh, he wasn't going to swing, and all of a sudden he did. And – I don't feel like catcher reached out for the ball. I just think that Morgan swung late and let the ball get as deep as it can get because it was probably just about in the catcher's glove when he hit it. So, because he made contact with the ball and the glove, it's kind of unusual. But if you see that, usually the ball maybe, in my opinion, you, ends up being fair. You that was really a, an interesting play. Um, but I asked the umpire what he saw and. You know, I knew he wasn't going to change it, but I just said, you know, that was that was interesting. I'm just going to leave it there. That, 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 that's not a review. Right? No. No. Okay. Was 